Hey guys, hey fifth grade. So guys, we have been focusing on something called a hybrid creature design and backstory. And guys, I know that some of you have completed this task. For example, Marley completed the task, uh, Ulysses, Naomi, um, but most kids were still finishing up or starting the hybrid project. So I was hoping that we can continue with it. And for those of you that are done with it, then just go on ahead and redraw your hybrid and write your backstory. And I'll give you extra credit for redoing the project or for continuing the project. But like I said, there were many of you that never started this. So let's start by, well, number one. What is a hybrid? Who remembers? What's a hybrid, guys? A hybrid is a combination of two or more things. So for example, a hybrid vehicle runs on electricity and gasoline, it runs on both electric and gas, gas and electric combined. So as you can see, guys, here, I was focusing on something I call Tigon, or as you can see, a tiger and a dragon. And I took the liberty, guys, of uh, sketching these out because uh, first and foremost, before I start drawing anything, I want to learn about this thing. And by this thing, I mean these creatures. Uh, so I looked up uh, images or drawings of tigers. I looked up images or drawings of dragons, and then I combined it to create my Tigon my tiger and dragon. But let's go back to step one. So number one, what is a hybrid? It's a combination of two or more things. So what you're gonna do, step two, is you're gonna create a list, a list of animals that you want to learn about. So a list of animals. And so what do I mean by that? Well, I have always found the tiger to be amazing the biggest of the big cats, just so powerful, just such a beautiful and powerful creature, and also a dragon. But of course, we know that a dragon is mythical. So that said, I'll accept the mythical creature, but try to come up with actual creatures. But as you saw with my, uh, with my hybrid, I of course went with an actual and mythical or real and something that appears or that you hear of uh, in terms of mythology or a legend, or if they truly exist, then that's a wonderful thing. And I'd like to meet one one day. I'd like to meet it one day. But anyways, let's get back to the task at hand. So a list of animals, guys. And so, for example, if I say tiger, uh, dragon, sparrow, the list goes on, right, guys? I mean, we can come up with hundreds of animals that we know of or that we, we're aware of. And in some cases, see, or at least dozens of animals that we know of and see uh, on a daily basis. Um, but in short... So come up with the list of animals, guys, and then we start to sketch these things, these creatures. Now, here's what I've come across. Some of you guys have so much trouble with a list, and I've suggested the following. I was like, okay, guys, take two animals that, for example, begin with the letter L. So what do we have? We have, oh, let's say, for instance, we have a lion, and we have a lemur. I believe it's with the you guys. And then we have something like a lizard. So if you're having trouble, uh, if you're having some difficulty using that awesome imagination of yours, guys, and every now and then we all we all encounter that. We all have trouble um, coming up with fresh or with new ideas. But again, if you're having trouble, focus on a letter. For example, an A. And then give me two, letter, two animals that begin with the letter A. For example, we have an Ard. Is it Aardvark? Aardvark? I'm sorry. Aardvark, anteater from Africa. And I believe it's A-A-R-D-V-A-R-K, I believe, an Aardvark. And then we have, let's say, for example, we have an alligator, two L's of uh, memory serves. So we have two animals that we can combine. But let's say, for instance, you already have the animals in mind. And let's take my example. So, okay, I have tiger. So what am I looking for, guys? I have dragon. This is what I'm looking for. I'm looking for characteristics, guys. Characteristics. Characteristics. 
characteristics. That means physical traits. That means physical things that you see on these animals, things that make up this creature, be it paws, stripes, whatever the case might be. So I'm looking for physical characteristics. That means I need to see things that you would see on this animal. I'm looking for physical characteristics. Oh, Janssen, se me olvidó que solo hablas español o más bien prefieres este hablar español. De todos modos, Allison, vamos a continuar con el proyecto del híbrido. Y Allison, ¿qué es un híbrido? Pues tú sabes bien que un, un híbrido es una o un combinación combinación de dos o más en este en este caso en este caso en particular animales dos o más animales y yo que si yo creo si me si, si me acuerdo correctamente estabas enfocando en un toro y gato mezclaste un toro y un gato y si quieres continuar con ese animal o más bien con ese híbrido uh, por favor o si quieres este un animal o más bien un híbrido totalmente diferente y lo que estoy diciendo Alison es que necesito ver pues los característicos de ese animal este por ejemplo si yo voy a combinar un tigre un tigre y un dragón necesito ver característicos y antes de empezar a dibujar lo que voy a hacer o más bien combinar los animales voy a dibujarlos Acá, acá dicen, voy a tener, pues voy a empezar con mi tigre. Y, y este, cuando dibujé este tigre, este tenía una imagen del tigre en, en, la, en, la, en mi computadora. Pero si no tienes computadora o un teléfono, tal vez tengas un libro que puedas usar o que te presten. Pero me, me imagino que si tienes este computadora, si estás viendo esta presentación. Bueno, pero número uno, lista. Número dos, vamos a empezar a dibujar los animales que escogiste para el proyecto, para el, para el híbrido más bien. Entonces tengo mi tigre. ¿Y qué es lo que voy a hacer, Alison? Pues tengo que entender lo que es un tigre, Alison. ¿Y cómo entiendo lo que es un tigre? Si nunca, si no tengo uno, pues ¿quién va a tener tigre? Me imagino que muy pocos. Pero lo que quiero que hagas es, quiero que busques una imagen de, por ejemplo, un tigre. Y aquí tenemos, pues vamos a empezar, voy a empezar mi dibujo del tigre. Y como te dije, busqué un dibujo de tigre en el internet. Y te estoy, te estoy, te estoy dibujando otra vez. Bueno, pues número uno, me encanta dibujar. No, no sé, cómo te diré, no, no soy artista, pero siempre intento hacer buen trabajo para ustedes. Y estudié lo que es arte y educación de arte, pero no siento que soy artista. Ustedes son los verdaderos, los verdaderos artistas. Bueno, voy a empezar a dibujar mi tigre y poco a poco, este ojalá va formando lo que parece que es tigre y poco a poco, Alison, poco a poco empiezo a dibujar mi tigre y número uno, tengo que entender lo que es tigre, tengo que entender lo que es un tigre y si, pues como como te digo, tengo gato o gata, pero tigre no. Pero a veces sí se comporta como tigre. Ya ves. Pero vamos a enfocar en el proyecto. Bueno, quiero dibujar mi tigre. Lo que parece que es tigre. Porque quiero estos dibujos. Estos dibujos tienen que ser representacional. ¿Te acuerdas de que lo que significa esa palabra, ese concepto? Eso quiere decir que si cuando tú dibujas un tigre. O por ejemplo, tu gato y tu toro. Tengo que ver que verdaderamente tu dibujo parece como esos animales como existen en la madre naturaleza. Y a veces es difícil. Ya sé que a veces dibujar puede ser medio difícil. Y como lo demás se hacen, uno tiene que estudiar. Uno que tiene que estudiar, tiene que conocer lo que es, en este caso, un tigre, lo que es un dragón. Y, como te diré? Pues los busqué. Los bus busqué imágenes de estos animales. En el, en el internet bueno y ya cuando tengas algo que parezca que parece disculpe que si sí parece por, pues en este caso un tigre y el dragón pues podemos ya empezar y si y, y lo que estoy diciendo es esto Alex. quiero que te sientas cómodo o cómoda disculpa quiero que te sientas cómoda dibujando tu híbrido 
Y tal vez vas a decir, pues no, señor Ruiz, pues yo no soy artista. En mi opinión, sí eres artista, Alison. Sí eres. Eres, muy ni eres niña muy talentosa y e inteligente. Y todo, como te digo, Alison, se tiene que aprender. Y como te digo, yo tuve que estudiar arte. Y me enseñaron bien mis profesores. Bueno, me enseñaron lo que pudieron y yo tuve que estudiar. Y pues ahí, ahí la llevo, Alison. Pero ya, cuando tú pienses... Piensas ya que si tienes algo que sí parece pues tigre, pues podemos empezar a dibujar el otro animal. Porque quiero que pues que practiques. Porque lo más que practicas, pues, la, pues vas a mejorar. Claro que vas a mejorar. Sí, entonces tenemos pues el tigre y ahora voy a enfocar en el dragón. Acá voy a poner el dragón. Y acá voy a empezar con la cabeza. Ok. Luego acá con el pescuezo. Y me gustó esta imagen, que lo pueda producir o más bien que lo dibuje bien, pues es otra cosa, otro asunto, pero sí lo, lo intento. Y tú tienes que enfocar. Y más bien no, no vayas a pensar, pues señor Ruiz, pues yo no estudié el arte. No, al contrario, Alison, tú conmigo sí estudiaste arte. Estabas enfocando en tu proyecto. Eres niña talentosa y inteligente. You guys can do this. And don't say to yourself, but wait a minute. I'm not a real uh, artist. You guys are. In my eyes, you guys are you guys are the tops. You guys are basically, you know, talented. You are, rather. You're talented. You're smart. You're, you got it all, guys. Um, we, we just need to focus. We need to focus. So once you have something that you like, or more to the point, something that in this case looks like a dragon, in my case rather, may look like a dragon or not so much like a dragon, no worries, guys. We can always make changes. And again, I'm sketching, which means... Well, I didn't mention it earlier, but I want you to sketch, which means, of course, you know, you're not adding a lot of details just yet. And you're basically just using light lines. You're not applying a lot of pressure yet because you you never know. You may like you may like what the drawing is looking like or you may say to yourself, you know what? I really don't like this drawing. I want to change it a bit. So then we always change it and it's easier to make changes or revisions if you have light lines on your drawing, guys. So that's why I'm not applying a lot of pressure, not just yet. Okay, guys, so now let me draw my wing. And as a young man, I had to study what I drew, where before my professors would allow me to draw, they would have me study. And I had to learn a little bit about, oh, in this case, what a wing actually looks like. Okay, we actually had to look up images, we had to look in books and on computers and learn about what a wing actually looks like. So I'm gonna start with something that looks, actually it looks like a hand if you believe it or not. We have the forearm, is it the ulnus and radius? Anyways, we have the forearm here. Now let's go, the wrist is here. And let's go with one, two, three, four, and five fingers. And now we just kind of close them off and make them webbed like. So that's how we end up with our dragon wings, guys. So there's my creatures. There is my dragon, or I hope you approve. I hope, you I hope you're saying to yourself, well, that's not bad, Mr. Ruiz. I mean, it's not great, but it's not bad. So that's, I, I do aim to please, but hey guys, I also make mistakes, but no more to the point, you guys are gonna be fine. And what I'm doing, guys, is I'm practicing. That's what I'm doing. Before I start drawing my dragon, it's like, wait a minute. I need to understand what this is. And how do I understand it or possess a further understanding of it? I draw it. I learn about it. Now, if you think you're ready, or rather you will be soon enough, then you basically start to combine the two. So what do I mean by combine the two? Well, let's take our tiger. Let's take our tiger over here, guys. We have our tiger. Now, let's combine it. So I'll just 
Let's see. So I'll go back to my drawing of the tiger, guys. And I'll start with the nose. And then I'll continue over here to the eyes, guys. Okay. And then here by the muzzle. Here the nut, the muzzle. Or the mouth. And tigers have these pronouns. It almost looks like a beard. So I'll draw there. So I'm just just sketching away, guys. And again, don't put a lot of pressure on your pencil because if you say to yourself, man, that doesn't look good or oh my gosh, I made such a mistake. Well then, you can always erase. But keep in mind, guys. Keep in mind. It's easier to erase a light line than it is a dark. Okay, guys? I need you to keep that in mind. It's easier to erase a dark, uh, a lighter line than it is a dark one, guys, okay? So you need to always keep that in mind. Keep that in mind, okay, guys? So let me go back. And we're getting there, guys, okay? And I won't go on ahead and add too many details because, well, A, I don't have the time to draw this out for you. It would take, it would take a couple of hours for me to do this. But overall, I just want you to get a good idea of what we can do. So now that I have the beginning of the tiger head, or I hope it looks like a tiger head. We can always add the stripes later. And then now I can begin to maybe add somewhat of the dragon body. Okay. And I'll go with characteristics because that's the big deal here, guys. I need to see what, guys? I need to see characteristics of the dragon. And I need to see characteristics of the tiger. So it's gonna have a tiger tail along with the dragon tail pattern, of course. Spikes, or I don't know what to call it other than here, this jagged edge here on the dragon tail. And again, and then over here, let's give it a paw. Okay, guys and we're taking it we're taking we're getting there guys slowly but surely we're getting there and up tiger paw over here guys and slowly but surely slowly but surely we're getting there guys we're getting there and so i have my beginnings of tigon my tiger and dragon so we're going to go back to the hybrid guys and for those of you that are saying to yourself man i already did this for mr ruiz I want you to revisit your design. I want you to think back to your work and maybe you can um, make some changes, some revisions, revisions, or give me a totally new hybrid and I'll give you extra credit. Excuse me so much, kids. I will give you extra credit, I should say, because you had to revisit your project. Okay, guys? So you guys hang in there and I'll see you later, guys.